Gibbs be tries it. Ladies and gentlemen, Phil here and welcome to a special edition of DSP Tries It. The reason it's a special edition is because this is going to be a double episode. What am I talking about? Well, allow me to explain. Recently, on television, as I've been watching various shows or whatever, uh, there's certain shows, unfortunately, if I watch them on demand, I can't fast forward through the commercials. And some of the commercials I've been seeing is for this brand new line of TV dinners, all right? These are meals you make in your microwave. Uh, you know, no actual baking in the oven or anything like that. It's called Devour. Now, first of all, a, a meal called Devour sounds weird, right? Like, it's not like Devour. It sounds like ravenous eating, right? Even the commercials for this thing is weird. It's a guy who's like in an office, some office worker, and he's on break. He goes to the break room, and he's like craving his food so much, he's like getting all these like almost romantic visions in his head about eating the food. Then he goes to eat the food and he like slaps, he like picks this up and he like slaps it with his hand like that. And someone walks into the room and he goes, did you just spank your lunch? And that's like the commercial, like a sexual reference, a sexual kind of association with his food. It's bizarre. Like I don't get turned on when I go to eat food, okay? So, when I went to the store, I wanted to see what they had. They actually had like five or six different kinds, various pastas, uh, they have a pizza, they have a lot of different stuff. I decided to get two, reason being number one, because I think one is not enough, because look, it's so different. Like chicken and waffles meal, and this is a pasta, spicy Italian sausage with pesto. You know, just to eat one is so different than another, and I wanted to get a little bit of a range of, gee, what kind of uh, meals are they offering? But also, I'm going to be very honest with everyone. When I saw these in the store, I'm looking at it, like, just take a look at this. Chicken and waffles, premium crispy breaded white meat chicken patty strips served with Belgian waffle sticks and a side of syrup for dipping. Just listen to this box. It sounds almost empty. I get the feeling this food is going to be gross. So I preemptively bought two, hoping that between the two, I'll have something that's appetizing and actually get a meal out of one of these. I don't know how it's going to work out, but I'm going to give it the old college try. Alright, so the first one in this video I'm going to be trying is the chicken and waffles. Now, as if it wasn't bizarre enough, chicken and waffles in a TV dinner, right? When you actually flip this over, you'll see even the cooking instructions are weird. Lift the tab and peel open. Here's the tab here, it's on the side of the box. So basically you have to make this inside the cardboard box. Really weird. Tear off along the dotted lines, which I'm assuming would be like this, this right here around the edges. This is save the top. Remove the syrup. Do not microwave the syrup. You have to put it in warm water to thaw it out. <laughs> so that's kind of weird. Place the chicken and waffles in a single layer on the crisping tray. Cover up the chicken and waffles with the crisping top. Silver side down. Silver crisping foil must touch chicken and waffles. Cook high for four minutes and then let it cool for one minute. Oh yeah, this is funny too. If the syrup is not used for this product, discard the syrup packet. Don't save it and eat it with anything else. Discard it immediately. What the hell? All right, well anyway, let's open it up and see what the heck is in this box. This is so weird to me. A uh, TV dinner that you have to save, you have to open it and cook it in a box rather than take it out. Like it doesn't have its own packaging. Oh my God. What the hell is this? This is, oh my God. Wow. Look at those premium chicken strips, baby. So here's your syrup cup, which is basically the exact same kind of syrup cup that they would give you at say McDonald's if you got a shitty breakfast there. It's identical, okay? Let's move that to the side. Wow. So you've got one, two, three, four little, basically, really crappy looking chicken tenders, and pretty much the saddest excuse for a Belgian waffle I've ever seen in my life. Wow, now, hold on, I gotta read these instructions again. It says, lift the tab and peel open, tear the top completely off along the dotted lines. So I guess, tear this whole top off, okay? I'm trying, but it doesn't, look, it doesn't even easily come off. Uh, 
Uh, it just tears. It doesn't really come off. I'm just going to tear it then. There's not even a proper dotted line like they say that there is, which is hilarious. Look, it's just tearing completely. Well, I got the top off like they said. Okay. Place the chicken waffles in a single layer in the crisping tray. Cover up the chicken and waffles with the crisping top silver side down. So it sounds to me like what they actually want you to do is try to cram this inside the box, almost like having silver touching it on both sides to maybe simulate like tin foil or something. And it's supposed to crisp it in the microwave. Oh my God. Cook high for four minutes. All right, well. So I guess what I'm gonna do is do what they say, right? I'm gonna jam this on the inside, right? Push it down as hard as I can, there you go. I'm gonna cook it on high on my microwave for four minutes and see how it comes out, and I guess we'll go from there. Ugh. And through the magic of video editing, it's just about to be ready. All right. Well, our chicken and waffles has been in there for about four minutes. And important to note, it did say, let it sit for a minute, okay, so that it cools down. Don't try to eat it until a minute has passed so it cools down. Oh, boy. So, God. Let's get this out. Put it down here for a minute. Close this sucker up. This is pretty funny. The top is all porous now. Look, you can actually see that, like, the heat of putting it in the microwave actually made it all, all uh, you know, pop up here, peat pockets. It's so hot, I can barely touch the container, so I'm gonna move it over here. They said to wait a minute. Uh, I don't know, here, you know what? Here's what we'll do. Let's move it over to, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It actually almost melted through the bottom. I just felt with my hand, I thought there was a hole. Luckily, it's not. Okay, let's move it over to the dinner table. Get onto the dinner table. What a delicious dinner. I cannot wait to partake in this one. Chicken and waffles, baby. Chicken and waffles. Real Southern style, homemade chicken and waffles, baby. Of course, in your grocer's freezer you can get it. All right, it's been about a minute, I think. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah. Well, initially, I can tell you, I can smell the saltiness of the chicken tenders and a little bit of sweetness from the waffle. The chicken tenders smell like every grocer's freezer, like chicken nugget you've ever eaten in your life. It smells exactly the same. This, I have no idea, ugh. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, okay? Um, and here is your dipping, your dipping uh, maple syrup. By the way, it's Heinz, and you sit right on top, it's just Heinz maple syrup. So any company that uses Heinz products, you're eating the same syrup. It's not like it's their specialty syrup or whatever. Um, so hold on, what I'm actually gonna do here, let me put this down for a second. I'm gonna tear the waffle, there we go. Tear it into two strips, so I can actually pick it up and dip it into the syrup easily. But I do also have a fork here so I can spear the chicken and eat it that way, all right? Still seems a little hot, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna take a bite, here we go. So the chicken, as expected, not crispy whatsoever. It's quite soggy and nasty, which is what happens with all frozen foods like this. Instead of getting a nice crispy chicken tender, you get a soggy thing because you made it in the microwave and it doesn't crisp. Even when they have these stupid, oh, the crisping treat. There's no crisping here. It's completely soggy. And I did exactly according to their instructions, okay? All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Oh boy. Mmm. Wow. I actually think this might be worse than a standard chicken nugget. <laughs> this does not taste very good. No siree. Uh, it's very bland. It's got only a little tiny bit of spice. But you can actually see, look, those little flecks, that's spice. So if there's not a fleck, you don't get complete bland, soggy breading in your mouth and pretty flavorless chicken, just like a, a, a chicken nugget. Just for the sake of argument, I'm gonna dip it in this, this syrup and see if it ends up tasting any better, okay? Just for the sake of those saying, but it comes with dipping sauce, try it, okay. Mmm. Wow. I think that actually made it worse. 
because syrup does not taste good with chicken. I know there are plenty of people in the, in the United States that love chicken and waffles. I've never really had it. And I can tell you this chicken does not taste good with waffles. Or with syrup, I guess I should say. Now here's the actual Belgian waffle stick that comes with this thing, okay? Good God, look at it. All right, I'm gonna give it a bite without the syrup first. Ugh. Ugh, so. So basically what it tastes like is like there was a fresh Belgian waffle that they made about four months ago. And since it's been frozen and now basically defrosted in your microwave, it's lost most of the sweetness that people like Belgian waffles for. It does have a little bit of sweet left, but mostly what you get, it almost feels like, how can I describe it? Like gelatinous in the middle, right? It doesn't feel fluffy like a Belgian waffle should. It almost feels like you're eating pudding because it's been frozen and then basically thawed out in your microwave. It's, it's not very appealing. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna try that with the syrup now. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, what I will say is this. The sweetness that's missing from the waffle somewhat gets added back to it with the syrup. The problem is the syrup is cold. And like I showed you on the box, it says you can't warm it up. Don't put it in the microwave. So cold syrup with your waffles, you know, it's, it's, it makes the waffle feel like it's frozen again. So you thawed it out just to put it into cold syrup and it doesn't taste very good. All right, one more dip here. I might as well finish this, this piece of the waffle, okay? Ugh. See, here's what I think. I could certainly see if you go to like a good chicken and waffles restaurant and they give you fresh breaded chicken tenders, right? Freshly cooked, fresh with buttermilk chicken tenders, freshly fried with a brand fresh new Belgian waffle with butter and syrup. That I could see going together. A microwave meal of chicken and waffles just sounds like a horrible idea, and not surprisingly, it is. It's terrible, it does not taste good. Ugh. No. Ugh. All I can really taste when I eat this is salt. That's it, it just tastes like I'm biting a, a gelatinous, chunk of rubbery salt. That's exactly what it tastes like. And uh, the, the, the hilarious part about this, this meal is $5. I'm not even kidding you. It's actually one of the more expensive TV dinners that you could get in your grocer's freezer. $5, I've seen other ones for two, three bucks, you know? Five bucks for four terrible chicken tenders, if you can even call them that, and four bland pieces of old Belgian waffle and cold syrup. Not a very appetizing combination in my opinion and certainly not a big value for your dollar. This meal is a pretty nasty bust in my opinion. Oh. Well, I'll say this. I'm certainly glad that I bought more than one because I don't want to eat any more of this. This is nasty. I give the Devour Chicken and Waffles TV Dinner a one out of five. The only reason I give it a one is because it is edible. It's actually not inedible. You could eat this. It's not appetizing. It's a bad idea and it tastes terrible, but it is edible. Like you could still eat it. Even if you hate it, you could still eat it for lunch. You know, zero would be like, if it's completely inedible, it makes you sick. This is edible, it just does not taste good at all. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am incredibly happy that I had this forethought that this would happen, and I bought a second Devour meal. Spicy Italian sausage pesto ravioli. Next time on DSP Tries It, I will be venturing with this meal. So, 
If you liked this episode, you want to see couldn't they redeem themselves with a second meal? You'll see this as a separate upcoming episode of DSP Tries It. I don't know, after that first one, do you really think it's going to look like that? <laughs> Alright, that's it everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.